Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about one co-working website that has made my accountability and therefore my productivity sky high and two things that have made me way more efficient when using my MacBook. If you're new here, my name is Avi Sheikh. I'm a board certified physician in New York City. And on this channel, I talk about health, technology, and growth in order to be better versions of ourselves. So the first thing that I found that I've been using for a little while now is a website called Focusmate. This website is awesome. Focusmate is where you are co-working with a partner from anywhere in the world. Their tagline is stop procrastinating, boost productivity, and get focused. And those are the three things that are very important to me because I always feel like I'm struggling with those. But the idea is that you are working live with somebody else from around the world in a one-on-one -on -one session and you're doing a Pomodoro style session. So 50 minutes with a 10 minute break. You can do one session at a time, but you can book multiple sessions out. And the way it works is that when you start the session, you and your partner tell each other what you're gonna be working on. And then you keep the webcam on, but you can usually mute it and at the end of those 50 minutes, the bell will ring and then you and your partner discuss how the session went and what you were able to get done. For me, I think especially during the pandemic, because you're not able to work alongside others. For me, I like actually interacting with other people in real life. And especially when it comes to doing tasks that I don't like, I really like the accountability of kind of just knowing that somebody else is there and they're not really watching, but just knowing that they're there and I made a promise essentially to them, like it makes me get my stuff done. It's free for three sessions per week. Otherwise it's $5 per month, but it is, it is so fun to use. And I think one of the best parts is not only the fact that I get my work done, but I have just met some very interesting people. I've met comedians, I've met uh, big YouTubers, I've met PhDs from around the world, I've met other doctors, and it's just cool because it feels like one of those places where it's like a hidden gem, and so you just meet the people that you feel like you can vibe with. The next thing is an app that I downloaded onto my Mac, and it's called Moom, M-O-O-M, -O -O -M, and this has been really helpful for me when I'm trying to do different tasks tasks at the same time, or I'm using two different applications at the same time. So normally on the Mac, you're not able to kind of do the split screen. At least with my Mac, I've never been able to do that. And so with this app, you can just set like keyboard shortcuts and you can assign split screens uh, for whatever apps you're using. So for me, when I'm studying or if I'm like doing work, I'm usually using Google Chrome or, and I'm using Notion. So I will, now that I can actually just split screen it, it makes it very easy rather than switching tabs and constantly trying to like copy things over. Like the fact that they're both just on the screen at the same time makes my workflow much easier. It makes using the computer much more enjoyable. You can also change the size of the screen of whatever app you're using. And so again, it's like, I think it costs about $10, but it's just made my life in terms of using my computer way easier. The next thing is something that I think everyone needs to learn. Uh, I've avoided it for a long time, and that is actually just learning how to type faster on the computer. Uh, I've definitely been inspired a lot by Ali Abdal for his renowned typing speed. I think it's 155 or six words per minute. The idea is that if you can type faster and you also learn the keyboard shortcuts, then it just makes whatever you're trying to do a lot easier. So I started to try it. And one of the websites that I use is called keybr.com. And this is a website that you can actually test out your typing speed, but it uses your, it actually tests you for every single letter. So basically it will tell you kind of how proficient you are with typing certain keys. And over time, it gives you an analysis of, again, how well you're doing or what you need to work on. I think when I started, I was at 65 words per minute, which is probably is like embarrassing to say, but even after using it for like half an hour, I was able to bump my speed up about 78 and then maybe 90 words per minute. So it's a pretty, you get that feedback really quickly and you get that dopamine hit pretty quickly as well. One of the other things with key BR is that they actually make you type out words that aren't even actual words. So it actually forces you to know how to type and practice your typing with, again, non-English words. So I would recommend you check that out. Uh, I think Ali Abdal also just came out with a Skillshare course on it. Um, I haven't checked it out yet, but 
it's definitely one of those high leverage tasks that you should probably learn how to do. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know if you use the website or any other things that I mentioned. If you like this video, then you might enjoy watching this video, which is my previous monthly favorites video, or you might enjoy watching this playlist, which is all my favorite kind of productivity apps and tech tools that I enjoy. That's it for the video. Thanks so much. See you in the next one. So basically this is a co-working website with strangers from around the world but in a professional <laughs> I know it sounds so weird to say. Uh, I would uh, work with strangers. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Stranger danger.